What's going on, Diamond? It's David Diamond here, and today we are back with another video on the XFL. The names have been leaked. Now, first off, um, I made the video a few weeks ago, or a few weeks ago, dude, a few days ago, where Pat um, had the head coach, Rod Woodson, of the uh, Las Vegas team, um, and he kind of teased the name. And while he teased the name, he teased logos, he teased all this other stuff. So, or he teamed the he teased the uniforms. Um, and now it's been announced that all the team names have been leaked. And I guess it's by the XFL's team. Um, and I think I mentioned in the video that something like that would happen where, um, you know, the moment, the moment they get announced, the websites are going to immediately show all the gear. And it looks like they already didn't show the logos, but they showed the names. I'm going to start off with one that I think is pretty funny. Um, when Pat said, Pat said three names, by the way. Um, he said, Pat said three names. He said, um, the Guardians, the Renegades, and the Rattlesnakes. Obviously, the Renegades are, and were already a team. Um, the, gosh, I can't get to these, um, and that has pretty much been a constant theme where they, um, sorry, I'm upset because I made this video so clear and fast the last time and now I got interrupted and now I have to redo it all, but, um, the, the Gamblers were already a part of the USFL, the Renegades were a part of the uh, old XFL, and they're a part of this new XFL. He said the Rattlesnakes. And he said he was close. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this behind the scenes to somebody or if I mentioned it to you guys on the video, but I did say that I wouldn't be shocked if we saw the Las Vegas Vipers because he said he was close and the Rattlers and the Rattlesnakes were the closest option. And I think that the Rattlers were probably the better bet, honestly. But the Rattlesnakes were also going to be cool. But the Vipers are now the new name. But here's the kicker. The Las Vegas, well now it's the Las Vegas Vipers are going to be announced as the team. So we're preparing for black. Now there is a few things I have wrong with it. Like I don't even think Las Vegas has Vipers. I'm going to look it up because um, I, I don't, we only have like a certain amount of snakes in the desert. So, and vipers are normally indigenous to, um, like, wetter humidity climates. But, you know, what's funny now that I'm looking at all these logos is that, think about it, in 2K they have the vipers all the time. So, I guess it really doesn't matter. And I'm seeing some pretty cool logos here. So, I won't be shocked if we, we come up with some great design. Now I hope that we have a whole different design because I'm going to admit this to you guys. And I said this in the XFL video way past in 2020 or 2019 when they announced the logos. Look at the V in the, Vi in the Golden Knights logo. Now look at the V here. Look at the V here. It's almost identical. So I'm hoping that, first off, that, that was the one thing I hated, that their, that their secondary uniform, or their secondary logo, which I'll show you guys real quick right now, which is the Viper right here, I thought was the better logo, but they never used it. So I'm hoping that they use it for the Las Vegas team. Um, and the colors should match pretty well. Now... The San Antonio Burhams, if I'm saying that right, I don't think I am. I feel like I'm not. I'm gonna. Now our own XFL team name is the San Antonio Brahmas. Brahmas, Brahmas. I keep saying it, and I just want to say Birmingham. San Antonio Brahmas, which is basically like a Texan, basically like a or basically like a bull. Um, and I think that. I do that because it's like I'm thinking of the Brahma Bowl. I think that one will be a fun logo. 
um, fun colors, yellow, probably mix in with a whole bunch of others. It should be an interesting one. Um, along with, we have a lot of returning names slash names being moved. I thought the Orlando Vipers were going to be a thing, if not Las Vegas, Orlando. It looks like the Orlando team is actually going to get the New York team, the Guardians. And I don't know how I feel about that. Because when you think about it, Orlando Guardians, how is their logo going to match with that lime green? How is it going to work? So that's going to be an interesting one. The DC Defenders, the Arlington Renegades, the Houston Roughnecks, and the Seattle Sea Dragons. Just introduce the sea. I think that's going to be cool because it keeps with their medieval-ish type of theme. Like the dragons, dragons were cool, but I think when you have the... Seattle Kraken, Seattle Seahawks. I think it's kind of like, okay, Seattle Sea Dragons. And maybe when Vince made the league, he didn't want it to be Sea Dragons because he didn't want it to be like the Seattle Seahawks. But that's something to look at. All of these team names are going to be cool. I'm already imagining what their logos could be. I hope the Battle Hawks keep their logo. I hope they don't change it too much. The Vipers could do a lot. I hope they don't copy and paste just to add different colors um, to the Las Vegas side. Um, the Seattle Sea Dragons, I think they could make a better logo. Like I like their logo, but I think they could improve. Um, like I said, the ta like a bull. I can expect a bull for San Antonio. Roughnecks is going to be a question mark. We don't know what they're going to have. We don't know what their logo is going to insist of. Now. It is a roughneck, so we're probably going to assume it's going to be another version of a character. Um, uh, the Guardians, we could assume that possibly the same as um, up in, in in New York. But the thing was, the New York theme worked so well because it was like gargoyles and stuff. It's not really a theme in Orlando, so I don't understand how that's going to work. Now they can hold a whole different theme, Guardians, and they can make like medieval guardians you know or something like that um or something in that range dc defenders i i think they might keep the same logo they might keep the same design it might not change and arlington renegades i won't be surprised if it's a copy and paste so that's going to be interesting like i said i kind of like the las vegas vipers name I, I like all these teams we're gonna have to see what happens with las vegas though because i think it's going to be interesting to see teams like the Guardians and the Vipers to see if it's literally just a copy and paste just shift over to a different city. Um, I hope that's not the case. I hope the Vipers have a cool logo and a cool secondary. Same with the Guardians. I hope it's completely brand new. Um, so some of these uniforms, they sound like they're going to be legit. And some of these, um, just some of these concepts are already getting me hyped up. So that's going to be it for this video. The XFL that it has accidentally leaked, and a part of me feels bad, but at the same time, when you wait so long, and the, you leak them yourself, basically, it's going to be difficult to keep it closed. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you guys next week when uh, these get announced. I don't know if I'll make a confirmed video, um, but if they announce the logos, which they think sounds like they will, expect a review of me breaking down the logos. That's going to be it. Dominate the world, Dominators. David Dominators out. Peace.